the camera you see on the table is uh, BESA 46, a pretty rare example of it actually, uh, with the Helior lens and those two switches, one on the back and one on the front here, as you can see. Uh, so today I want to share you with a quick overview of the camera, so let's start. So to open it you need just to push that button underneath here, so you just push it and you can see it just snaps right in. And those two uh, things are locked. Uh, yeah, so as you can see um, it has the yellow filter on and also Hilar lens uh, f3.5 uh, and 75 millimeters in the focus distance. Yeah, it comes with the Compu Rapid shutter here and by examining the um, serial number of it you can determine the edge of the camera. So uh, I looked up it uh, before filming the video, so it's kind of 84 years old approximately. So pretty old camera actually and still working. So yeah, basically you can check the shutter here and just for example press here or just use that lever. Yeah, so basically that's it. Um, yeah, to close it you just need to unsnap those two uh, side things and just click it back on. Let's actually make a, li a little bigger review here. So uh, let's take a look at the details of the camera. Um, what we have here is the frame counter on the top, uh, pulling knob or like scrolling knob for the film here, the viewfinder, uh, two uh, sliders to count the frames here. Uh, basically they are used for when, when you load in the film and shooting the frames. That's one is clicked only once uh, when you load the film and the front one is used uh, to move from one frame to another just to unlock the knob. Yeah, so we have a lot of the um, shutter speeds here, till one of, of five, one five hundredths of the second, um, and we can, you can see we are, we should use that uh, small red, uh, like a blood drop, here to choose the shutter speed. So, for example, I setting it for one half of the second here and now you should just hear it yeah that's that's it working really nice and yeah basically we also have here on the side the uh, aperture control where you can set aperture yeah and on the bottom you have the distance meter depending on your aperture which you can just use to calculate uh, your grip um, yeah that's one is just like a lock not to open the back yeah and that's it that's simple and really nice camera uh, we'll test it soon in the wild yeah, there is interesting uh, safe system here with this lever at the bottom, so you kind of just need to uh, move it to the side to be able to open up the back. And now you have access to the back here, 